This is a message for anyone who has ever sent me a mixtape or SoundCloud link. If you're a rapper, then this video is for you. 300 Entertainment partnered with Verizon and they're launching the second ever Freestyle 50 Challenge. The Freestyle 50 Challenge is an open invitation to any up and coming rapper who wants an opportunity in the music game. If you want to submit to this challenge, all you have to do is freestyle over T Grizzly's no effort beat and upload it to Instagram or Twitter and tag 300 Entertainment and Verizon with the hashtag Freestyle50Challenge. The winner will get $10,000, one hot single produced by London on the track under the 300 label, and you get to open up for their new artist development tour. It's that simple. I'm invited to the launch event and I'm heading there now. Outfits, you guys are clearly in a different tax bracket, <laughs> which is all right. Um, well, I have a question for you. After in this stage of your career, you're considered a mentor now. Who are some of your mentors growing up, and what have they taught you? Uh, I mean, I, I could go down a list, but two, two of the ones that really helped change my life and the, the trajectory of my family was Russell Simmons and Leo Cohen. Um, in business, uh, it was everybody from Dick Parsons to Jack Welch. Uh, who helped form my business mindset and uh, because I'm an electrical engineer uh, trained uh, it was a guy named Dr. Dean DeLoach who was my um, president of engineering here at Morgan State University so I believe that that uh, diversity of, of mentors helped me uh, bring something to the industry that uh, was kind of different you know when I came in. Right now this Freestyle 50 Challenge last year's winner Trey the Kid what separated him from the other contestants, what did he have that the others did? Uh, he was in beast mode. Huh. <laughs> he, 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 he wasn't there to just rap. He was there to kill to be killed. And his whole thing was, you know, and I tell a lot of people this story, when he started the contest, he lost one of his parents. At the end of the contest, he lost his other parent. And he still said, the greatest gift that I got, I know I lost something, but I got the opportunity to share my gift with the world because I won the contest. That that story I'm always tell because that to me is the epitome of you no matter what happens in your life. You gotta freestyle your way to the top and you can never give up. That's amazing. That's true. Everything's dope by accident. Now, London, you're 26 years old. Mm -hmm. Now, I recently saw in an interview that you met up with Young Thug in 2005. Now, if I'm doing the math correctly, you're 14 years old when you collaborated with Young Thug. Mm -hmm. That's insane. How are you dealing with all the success? How am I dealing with it? Um, I'm just going. I'm just keep going. I just gotta stay consistent. That's all. Okay, so what what keeps you motivated to like stay hungry and? Well, now not? my son gave me a new reason to be you know motivated. So, um, but at the end of the day, I just like creating music and I like you know keep my fans happy and being a big inspiration. Okay. But he doesn't he doesn't do it like I, I'm gonna say you don't mind me adding. He doesn't do it to be a producer. Mm -hmm. the, the money, all that stuff yeah, is yeah. cool, that don't move him. The creation of something, you know, from nothing to something is what excites him. So whether you're 14 year old, 20, when you love what you do, it, it, it doesn't matter. So, matter. you know, with, with, with Thug, you know, how you think I feel? I got Thug on my label, mm -hmm. <laughs> I manage him. This is my family right here. Yeah. So I'm looking at these two grow up together. You know what I mean? And that's, that's the blessing. So I just think that, you know, and to you guys out there that, it's, it's not complex, quote unquote. You just have to want to live it, love it, and do anything to get it. Final question. What are you guys looking for in the winner of this Freestyle 50 Challenge? What are we looking for? Well, here's, here's what I, I think we're looking for. Somebody's truth. Yeah. Um, whatever, whatever it is, your truth. I don't care good, the bad, the yeah. ugly. I don't care we just want where you it comes to be from. Yourself. Be yourself. And make sure when you go into the studio, you're ready to work with one of the greatest producers of our time. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, love, yeah. What do you look for? Because I know a lot of up and coming battle rappers try to like you know, submit to you. Right. What do you look for in a, in a rapper? Just originality, you know, voice uh, production, lyrics, lyricism, um, just different styles and different different energy. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of people in the game got like a lot of similar features with their craft and you know, I just like different things, you know what I mean? Okay, so who's your favorite rapper ever? 
Ever? Ever. I'm gonna have to go with Biggie. Like, you know, I, 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 I just feel like his lyricism, his skills, the way he visually painted a picture through his lyrics was amazing. You know, um, I came up in that era, so, you know what I mean? I'm definitely gonna have to go with the Notorious. Do you think any of the rappers currently have that similar quality that Biggie has? Um, yeah, a lot of people do, definitely. You know, um, there's a lot of people that, you know, it's not even a sign that it's, it's real dope with it too. They just got out there for people to see and, and recognize their talent. But um, there's a lot of dope storytellers out there. Nas is definitely one of my second favorites. Well, I appreciate so, this, Mac. I know you got a host. Yeah, thank so, you, man. Shout out to Complex Magazine too, you know what I'm saying? Complex, what's up? All right. So as you can see behind me, the club is filled to max capacity. Your boy tried to finesse his way in there, but cops weren't having it. I gotta thank the good people over at 300 and Verizon for inviting me out to the media event. And uh, I guess I'm gonna go get some grub and call it a night. Boop, 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 boop.